Okay, so I'm starting off on my prime skin with my Nars She Glow Foundation. And I'm just going to buff this in with a Zoeva Silk Finish brush. I love this brush at the moment um, just for blending in my foundation. It just gives a really beautiful finish. Um, so now I'm going in with my Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection Cosmetics. I'm going to go through and pop this in the normal kind of areas on my face. I like to do under my eyes, um, on my forehead, on my chin and on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to blend that all in with my Real Techniques um, contour brush. So now to set that all in place, I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder and I'm going to pop this on with a Morphe E48 brush. Um, I really like this powder, it just removes all my wrinkles, all my pores, and it just blends everything in. This powder is amazing, and I could not live without it. So now I'm going in with Hula Bronze, and I'm going to put this on with the um, Real Techniques Multitask brush, just to add a little bit more kind of colour to my face to start off with. So just the normal parameters around my face, and then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, which is the Duo Fibre brush in Real Techniques. And I'm going to actually pop a little bit more of a contour in there. Although that this is a duo fiber brush, it makes sure that you don't put too much product in there. So I haven't got a really strong, harsh contour. It's just nicely soft, nice and soft as you pop a little bit more shape in there. So now I'm going to go through with my Makeup Keep Head Over Heels um, blusher. And I'm popping this on with a Morphe E3 brush. Just on set up as a cheek. And I like to blend this up to my temples as well. Um, this is officially my new obsession. This is Benefit What's Up um, Highlighter. I have got a little baby mini mini size, but there's actually a lot of product in here. Um, so I'm going to go through and pop this everywhere where I want a little bit of glow, and I'm going to blend that in with my finger. Um, and this just works as an amazing base for my highlight that I'm going to pop over the top, which is Becca Moonstone. And I'm going to pop this on with the Sedona Base 313 brush, and this gives the most amazing highlight ever like glow from space beautiful it's so pretty so now i'm going to go through and fix up my brows i'm going to use my um normal dope taupe from colourpop pencil um i just go through and define them a little bit more add a little bit more shape fill them in um they can be a little bit sparse kind of through the tail and just make them a little bit stronger so that's what i'm doing there I'm going in with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to go through and pop this on with my Glossy Cosmetics um, eye brush and I'm going to go through and blend it all out. Going in with this um, matte cream shade from the Shanix OVH Cosmetics palette and a Sedona Lace 863 brush, I'm going to go through and set my painterly in place. I just find that this helps to um, keep everything from creasing and it just makes blending so much easier. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Tartlet palette and the shade Natural Beauty and I'm going to go through with that same brush and I'm going to pop this into my upper crease and make sure it's nice and blended. This is a super, super easy look. This look takes all of about 10 seconds to do. Um, and obviously you can change the colors around a little bit. So this is the shade Power Player and I'm going in with that same brush and I'm just gonna pop this on the outer corner um, of my crease and just really, really soften it and make sure it's nice and um, blended out. This just gives a really soft, um, spooky effect just to the outer corner of the eye. So now I'm going in with gorgeous gold shade which is Kathleen Lights from the Colourpop Where the Light Is collection. 
I love the shade so much. It's so beautiful. And I've just kind of refound these um, the ColourPop shadows. I haven't used them a lot in the last little while, so I've just started having a play in this color. Just I saw it and it was just so beautiful, and it works really beautifully with um, the kind of purpley tones from the Tartlet palette. So that's why I put them together. So I'm just throwing this on my lid, and I'm going to go through and kind of blend out any edges as I go um, with that same um, Sedona lace blending brush that I've been using along the way as well. I'm going in with the shade um, Best Friend from the Tartlet palette on a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to go through and smoke this out to the lower lash line. I'm just going to go through and make sure it's nice and blended with that same trusty brush. So now I'm going in with that sh same Power Player shade and I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner again just to smoke it out a little bit more and just to um, open the eye a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with this um, beautiful shimmery champagne tone from the Chanel XO palette and I'm going to pop this on my brow bone just to add a little bit more brightness in there and then I'm going to go through and also pop this on my inner corner as well. So if I'm completely honest I'm a little bit obsessed with this Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara. Um, I haven't been wearing lashes as of late because my lashes kind of just needed a bit of a break from the glue and all that kind of stuff and I've just been loving how this mascara just gives my lashes so much length and volume. It's just so beautiful. So now I'm just going to go in with Mannequin and 714 from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I mix the two together. I find 714 is not as opaque as I would like it and it can get a little bit patchy. Um, so I mix it with Mannequin and it is the most beautiful um, rosy kind of pink new tone. I just think it's really pretty and it finished off the look really nicely. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.